There are some images or icons that can be described as staples, you know, so widely known that they're considered ubiquitous and easily recognizable upon a glance. Such staples include this one. Not only is it near instantly recognizable to pretty much anybody who's ever played a single Super Mario Bros. title, but they're also seen as representatives of the series, as well as of Nintendo and even the entire gaming industry as a whole. In this video, we'll have an in-depth look at and explain everything that there is to know about the Super Mushroom. Let's dive right in, shall we? Who would have thought back in 1985 that in Mara's first ever venture into the Mushroom Kingdom, the very first item that he'd come across would become the series' most recognizable icon? The Super Mushroom is an item which, upon consumption, allows Mario to grow from Small Mario to become Super Mario. The Super Form isn't exclusive to Mario though, that is to say, anybody who consumes a Super Mushroom can enter the Super Form, like Mario's brother Luigi becoming Super Luigi. In the Super Form, the user becomes larger, about double the size of their Small Form. They also become stronger too. A Super Character can break brick blocks with their fists just by jumping underneath them. Probably most importantly, being super grants an individual a level of durability. A super character can take an extra hit from an enemy before demise, as opposed to a small character who can't even afford to graze an enemy or hazard. You know, lest they meet certain doom. Here's a fun fact for you. It's never actually been confirmed 100% which is Mario's base form. While previous entries described his super form as Super Mario, and his small form simply as Mario, some more recent games reversed this, calling his super form Mario, and explicitly referred to his little stature as Small Mario. As most artworks show Mario in his normal size super form, and of course by most, I mean all of them. All of them. Many agree that his little form is called Small Mario, and his adult sized super form is his accepted normal form. The Super Mushroom first appeared in 1985 in Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo Entertainment System. In this game, it looked rather different from what we know it to be today. The modern Super Mushroom is depicted as a red toadstool with white spots. The number of spots have differed in years, but its current appearance has it with four large spots on each side of the cap. Back in Super Mario Bros., and only in Super Mario Bros. and its Japan-exclusive sequel Super Mario Bros. 2, the Super Mushrooms instead had orange caps with red spots. Super Mario Bros. is also the only game in which the Super Mushroom doesn't have eyes. The design of the mushrooms is directly based on the Fly Agaric, also known as the Amanita Muscaria, a type of ironically poisonous mushroom known for its distinctive red cap covered in white spots. The Super Mushroom's ability to make its user grow was believed to have actually been inspired by another foodstuff for the ability to make its eater grow. This was none other than the cake used to make Alice grow to gargantuan proportions in Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Although I say believed, because in an interview with the then president of Nintendo Satoru Iwata, Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of the Super Mario Bros. series, stated that it was actually a misconception. In this interview, he states that he was merely inspired by fantasy elements, and that mushrooms tended to have ties with magic and fantasy, such as the houses that the Smurfs live in. The whole reason the Super Mushroom even exists was because Mr. Miyamoto believed that Mario was, ironically, too big to play as in the game. They shrank Mario to half his size, inadvertently creating his small form, to make for a more satisfying experience. Around the same time, Mr. Miyamoto believed that it would make things a little bit more interesting if Mario grew and shrank within the game, so he created an item which would magically change Mario's size. Et voila! The Super Mushroom! Originally, the toadstool wasn't even called the Super Mushroom. In the original Super Mario Bros., it was instead known as a Magic Mushroom. Magic Mushroom? Now where have I heard that before? Yeah, they changed it, understandably. Magic Mushroom is a drug. You can't have a drug in a Mario game. Come on. Here's another fun fact. Although the Super Mushroom hasn't looked like how it did for over 30 years now, the classic Mushroom has been referenced a few times. In 2006's New Super Mario Bros. for Nintendo DS, the Mega Mushroom appears as a callback to old Super Mario Bros. It's a huge mushroom that lets the user become mega, allowing them to plow through and crush everything in their path. 
The color scheme of the Mega Mushroom is identical to that of the Super Mushroom, having an orange cap with red spots. The character Toad would also reference the original Super Mushroom in New Super Mario Bros. Wii for Wii, and in Super Mario 3D World for Wii U. Upon entering their fire forms, Yellow Toad in the former game and Toad in the latter would change colors, with their heads matching the coloration of the Super Mushroom. Being the series representative icon, the Super Mushroom appears in nearly every single Mario Bros. game. Almost every game uses the Super Mushroom in some facet, and while they're not always called Super Mushrooms, they are there. And depending on the type of game it is, the Super Mushroom can have a multitude of different uses, such as... In the Mario platforming titles, the Super Mushroom allows Mario and his friends to become super, growing larger and more powerful. In the Mario Kart Racing series, Super Mushrooms are plugged into the engine of the kart to give them a burst of speed. In the Mario role-playing games, including Super Mario RPG, the Paper Mario series, and the Mario Luigi series, Super Mushrooms restore health to the individual who eats them. In these games, there's usually a subtype of mushroom specifically called the Super Mushroom, with better healing effects than an ordinary mushroom. In the Mario Party games from the second onwards, using the mushroom on the board will usually grant the user an extra die to roll, allowing them to travel more spaces on the board. In some of the sports games, such as Super Mario Strikers, using the mushroom will grant a brief burst of speed to the user. In countless other games, there are variations with sometimes vastly different abilities, such as one that gives you a spring, one that turns you into a bee, or one that electrifies you. <gasps> God damn it! And that's all there is to it. To say the Super Mushroom has a presence within the series would be an understatement. It defines Mario as a character and as a person, and I think it's safe to say that the Super Mario Brothers series would be very different were it not for the Super Mushroom. And so ends another chapter of Nintendology. So, what other Nintendo topic would you like explained? Leave a comment below and, if I think it's interesting enough, I'll have it explained in another chapter of Nintendology. But until then, see you next time!